Ontario, New York State, March 18, 2000. Two fire departments and six engineers assemble to test a revolutionary fire suit. Todd Bain, a seasoned firefighter, will be the man to face the poison flames. He is about to attempt to walk 20 feet through a tunnel of fire. What did you tape the last time, uh, Doc Faber, I'm asking. Is that fuel dumped on the fire yet? No, you want us to do that? Okay, Dump the fuel. Metal cages of hardwood pallets are placed four feet apart and soaked in 55 gallons of jet fuel. Gary, you hear me? I don't hear him. Okay. Just pull guys, gotta go off the top of the bottle. Off the top of the bottle? The ZTEX 2000 series suit is designed to give firefighters complete protection from heat and flames. The multi layered silica yarn makes the suit twice as strong as steel wire, and a flame retardant linen covering should prevent it from catching fire. Engineers apply thermal strips to monitor Todd's temperature during the firewalk. Emergency workers are on hand in case of accident. Take the tires and light the fire. Let's go. It's a simulation of a chemical fire. The valve on the right is a prop. But if Todd can walk through the fire lane and reach the valve, then firefighters could shut off burning fuel streams that are cooking gas tanks and threatening explosions. We're going to let it go a minute before you go in, all right? Okay. Within minutes, the fire lane is blazing. Engineers wait until the temperature reaches 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll give you the go ahead, all right? Go ahead. Okay. With breathtaking courage, Todd steps into the flames. Oh, now it's nice and orange. Todd stays in constant contact with his engineer. If anything goes wrong, a fraction of a second's delay in rescue is the difference between life and death. Four seconds in, though he's only feet away, Todd cannot be seen through the flames. After eight seconds, Todd reappears. The temperature rises above 2,500 degrees, right on the limit the suit can stand. Okay, it's all good, Jerry. I'm on the far side. I'm outside. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. After 14 seconds of total fire immersion, he reaches the valve and begins to block it off. In a real industrial accident, the fuel supply is cut off, the fire goes out, and a lethal blast is averted. But in this test, the inferno rages on, and Todd decides to push the suit to the limit. Okay, coming around again. He completes four walks, a total of 80 feet, before he's forced out of the fire lane. He's been in the flames for one minute, 41 seconds. I'm feeling heat on my right arm. He's pushed the suit too far. Emergency workers rush in to help, but there's no need to panic. Okay. Okay. Off. Get the right the right side How are you feeling, Todd? Okay. Burn. 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 Given the intensity of the inferno, Todd is remarkably unscathed. Was before. Was, uh, 140 on 90. A quick health check, and Todd's in the clear. Pretty good for walking through that fire, huh? Piece of cake. According to the optical pyrometer, you're over uh, 1,420 degrees Celsius, which is uh, over 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Was that as uh, hot a fire you ever fought in? Yeah, without a doubt. It's close to the limit. Firemen put their lives on the line to test the boundaries of industrial firefighting and save human life.